Brady Bunch today, Emma Jean Coco was on it. Uh, Jan was afraid when she saw a picture of Emma Jean as an old lady. When they said, oh yeah, you look exactly like her when she was young. This is her aunt. But then she saw a picture of her when she was old and she got really upset. Uh, she's like, I don't want to look like that when I'm old. And she turned out to be a real charming lady, well-traveled, kind of like Auntie Mame. But this is American language. Uh, the father said, oh, there's much more that determines, you know, the way you look. Environment, diet, and emotions. Didn't he just sum everything up? Now, that's the American language to, to say something real fast. What the fuck is this? To say something really fast. And then to, um, to uh, you can always elaborate, but if you can sum things up like environment, diet, and emotions, bang, boom, tiddly doom, that's, that is how America got so great and why it became the envy of the world. So another thing that she did in here when she was showing these kids all these different tea ceremonies was how she ate with chopsticks right from the plate to her mouth. And I've never seen that before on television from a white person. But see, that's what they, the Chinese are wanting to get rid of with the Cantonese because, you know, they always ate that way. And, and in Western culture, it seems very goofy or whatever, embarrassing to put your bowl right up to your mouth and shovel it in with your chopsticks. But in that culture, it's more like the more the food is beyond your mouth and in the air, it's worse because of some other reasons. But there's reasons for it. And instead, I see that they are trying to get rid of that huge part of thousands of year old culture. Um, I just needed to do this while it was fresh in my mind. That the way you communicate, if you do not want to be uh, taken over by time, remember, the devil wants to change time. They want to suck the time out, have a wall of text. Have have instead of a synopsis, they want you to read like ten pages of a movie and give away the plot, give away every move you make. They're wasting your time. It is un-American to waste your time. It is un-American to waste your time. It is un-American to waste time. It is un-American to waste time. As I said, when you size up the situation, you know how, many, how much time you have. You can always elaborate if you're planning to sit down with people for four hours and it's understood. Then you can waste time and lollygag. But you never go on TV and, and take an hour of everybody's time to get to nothing, to get to what three words could have gotten you. Why? Why would you do that? Why are you wasting my time? 